massive sunset, folks. G'day guys, what's cracking? Ralph here, and I'm stoked you can be with me today. If you want to be part of our creative crew, subscribe below. There's videos out on Tuesday and Saturday. You'll get a heap out of them, if not just the occasional laugh. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind too. That'd be really helpful. Now, on to today's business. We are going to Moran Falls. It's in Lamington National Park, and you're about to see it how you've never seen it before. And we're going to answer the question, should you ever quit? Landscape photography, is there a point when you go, oh, it's just too messy, I'm gonna quit? So without further ado, let's take a dip and jump in. with a shoot like this is knowing how to compose it and that means what focal length and so the question is uh, if you've got from 16 all the way up to two or three hundred which do you go with and that can't always be straightforward so I pull up this app it's called the Magic Nikon Viewfinder app and as you can see at 300 mil it looks uh, just way too zoomed in but if I am um, just scroll through all the options I can come all the way down to 20 mil and 50 mil, 60 mil, that's blown out. So actually you want between 24 and 50 mil, which is exactly what I'm going to shoot on. I've got an S lens that sticks on the front of my Nikon Z6 and that's a 24 to 70 with an f-stop of 4. I won't need more than an f-stop of, I reckon, 9. It's a landscape, there's heaps of light, it's looking really good. So that gives me um, all the um, options I need. And your kit lens, if you've got just a as a DSLR that you've pulled out of the, um, the cupboard and it's just a kit lens, your kit lens will do exactly that. So you can come to incredible locations like this and take a banger of an image and be stoked with it on the camera that you've already got. So this behind me is Moran Falls. You can see the drop off, the drops to maybe 200 meters, might not be that much, maybe 100 meters, it's a big drop off. And you can go right to the edge. That's, I don't like going near the edge, just stay away from the edge today. But then you've got the valley behind us and the sun, the sky coming in. And so the challenge here is composition because you also have this funky little waterfall. See this little waterfall just here? And the waterfall is a bit of a feature. It gives a bit of context. It creates some depth to the shot. And if you put a bit of a uh, slow shutter on that, you get some silky smooth water coming off there. So that's what we're going to do. Um, choosing a composition is a bit of a challenge. There's plenty to choose from. So I'm going to have a bit of a scout about and see where we can come up with. Now it was after this that the fun really started. Yeah. So Harry's perched on the top of this waterfall and you'll see from this reaction that his phone has just fallen out of his pocket and he thinks it's fallen off the edge of the waterfall. So he takes off, rushes around and realises he can't see it anywhere. Um, and we're about to call it when he discovers that it's in the water. He pulls the phone out of the water and the one thing that's stuffed about it is his camera. He finds out that later as he's trying to take photos with it and it's kind of half filled with water and a little bit condensated and so forth. So he since got a new phone. But this is just one example of why we are called the Disaster Photo Crew. And you'll see if you stick around some more examples of just that. All right, let me talk you through this shot and how I've composed it. There it is right there. As you can see, my settings down the bottom, ISO 100, f-stop 10, on a five second exposure, which exposes the waterfall well. Then if I want to expose the sky, I need to move my focal point to somewhere where the contrast in the sky changes. So the mountain ridge, you can see that. And then, in there, 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to underexpose to bring out the rays and the colour in the sky. That's a stop and a third underexposed. Wait till it focuses. Two and a half seconds. And there you go. Now what I'm going to do is change up my lenses and see if I can zoom in on some of that epic, nice, tasty horizon work that's happening there. So the cloud is starting to move in. We're starting to get a little bit nervous. And it's at that point we should have quit. We should have gone, all right, let's 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 go. However, I have my camera set up to take a time lapse. And I was hardly just going to bail on the middle of an epic time lapse with the risk of a little bit of drizzle coming through. introduce you to a little accessory that I've come to love. These are called claw feet, I think, or feet of doom, feet of brilliance, tripod feet that you can mount on the bottom of your tripod. It's a 3 8 inch screw and these things stick to anything. So they stick to sand, to water, to rock, to like polished floorboards in a nice real estate place that you're shooting. They grip to everything. Do not use them on a nice polished floorboards. Uh, that outcome will not be favorable for you. But if you're interested in these, I would highly recommend them. These particular ones are made by Salons. Salons. I'll put a link in the description below, but they're well worth it. So these are part of my tripod kit. I'm going to do a video shortly about really cool tripod accessories because there's a few I use that I really enjoy and make life a lot easier. Right, we're just hiking, just chilling out here. He goes, you know about the weather forecast, don't you? And we're like, no. Nope. So we pulled up on the, uh, the old app and this is what we saw. Yeah, there is a monsoon heading towards us. So we may get well and truly washed off this waterfall. And if so, Thanks so much for watching this, and little kids, love you. It's a bit morbid, isn't it? We're all good. We're all good. I'll prove it by posting this video. What Moran Falls offers you is a variety of shots. So you take the panorama, that classic panorama with the beautiful waterfall in the foreground and the water swirling and falling over the edge with the, the incredible light and the valley in the background. But then you stick in your telephoto, and you zoom right into that sucker. And boom, as the light cutting through the cloud, it's just lighting up that beautiful textures and mood in the valley. There's that shot to be had too. And then, of course, you've got the drone. Put the drone up as you would have seen, and you can get some amazing images of the waterfall and of the, the landscape and the environment. So this is the shot that I'm going to go with. It's uh, framed nicely by those mountains in the bottom right. You can see the contrast of the dark rain clouds and that band of orange with the light, the sun rays cutting through that make the shot and draw your attention back through to the, uh, the valley. So pretty stoked with this, except, except that that is coming toward us. Back to the story. So we're using our claw feet. We're stuck in. Uh, the storm's looking a bit menacing, like it's going to bring something. It's kind of taken a 90 degree turn, coming straight for us. And well, maybe the time lapse, the long awaited time lapse that you've been waiting to see will explain exactly what happened. There's a reason our photo crew is called the Disaster Photo Crew and one day I'll do a little bit of an analysis about all the disasters that we've encountered but today was no different. I was using the Osmo Action and the reason we're in the studio and then going back to Moran Falls is because when I went to vlog on the Osmo Action it resets constantly to slow motion. Does anyone else have that problem? If you do, please comment below. I think I'm the only person on the entire internet that when I pick up my Osmo Action to use it, it's somehow for some strange reason reverts to slow-mo. So hit me up about that in the comments below if that is your issue as well. I'd just like to have some friends that have the same issue. I don't know what we can do about it. So as you can see, the heavens have opened. It's monsoonal. 
typhoon, hurricane, I don't know what's going on, but the, the view that was beautiful behind me a few seconds ago is now written off. I've got my time lapse camera that's waiting there, and we ummed and ahed about rescuing it, and then we figured that Harry can just jump down and get it when it goes off the waterfall. So that's, that's a bit of a win. This isn't mine, but uh, mine looks exactly the same. It's got a, a shower cap on it, so a few weeks ago we talked about shower caps on camera. Perfect for here, I just need a massive shower cap to put on my own body. No umbrella. No raincoat because it was beautiful and sunny when we got out of the car. Look at the water falling off the peak of my car. That's yeah. ridiculous. Tip of the day, if there's no sunset, don't go outside. Especially if it's raining, you think you can get away with it. What were we thinking? My undies are wet. That's not good. It's been raining for four days and I'm not sure if we're gonna the rest. It has really, it's been like six minutes and look at this. We've got a, an hour for sunset. <laughs> um, you said the storm was gonna miss us. <laughs> it didn't miss us. <laughs> Very much it. It was a lightning strike literally four meters away at the top of the waterfall. Thunder. The the phone's not working properly because it's all touch screen and everything is wet. My Oslo Action packed it in. Can't do anything on the screen. It's stuck in slow motion. And when you vlog on slow motion, it sounds like this. Oh, Did you hear the thunder? If this were a survival show, this is where I'd hide in this little cave. But it's not. It's a photography channel. So you just put up with it. Come on. Clear outside and just see what the cloud cover's like because this fella here, Harry, <laughs> reckons um, reckons we're in for a cracker. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now, now for the big reveal. <laughs> Thirty percent mid cloud, they said. Thirty percent. That's all. And we always want high cloud for a good sunrise, sunset. Um, in this case, the cloud goes all over everything. And I've left my washing on the line. So we decided we're totally drenched, totally smashed. We're like, let's get out of here. Pete, who's leading the way, encounters the most ferocious and giant crayfish that he, well, between you and I, he, his, his scream was unmanly. And he screamed at this little massive, ferocious crayfish as it sat in the middle of a path waiting to devour us all. The rain came in, the storm engulfed us, and we walked the, well, it should have been half an hour. It was, turned out to be an hour because it was uphill. It was all muddy. Trek back to the car after quite an epic afternoon of shooting. We had no idea it was going to roll out the way it was. And so when should you quit? Never. Never quit. Come on. Keep going. There's always more to be had if nothing else but humor. Thanks heaps for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Catch us in the next video. I'm out. Don't go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful sunset shoot. Yeah. <laughs>